everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to go over laser engraving glass. So this is what I'm going to be going over today on glass blocks. And I'm really impressed how it turned out. And I didn't use any toxic paint whatsoever. So first, I realized I needed to raise my machine. My glass block, of course, uh, sat very tall, so I decided to modify my machine. And what I did was actually take skid boards. So this cost me absolutely nothing. I planed them down each to about three quarters of an inch each. And I measured out the uh, engraving bed of my machine. And I decided to stagger my boards. I really overthought how to make a trolley for my machine and I wanted adjustable shelves for my machine. So this way, because I'm making my machine so deep, I can actually, by staggering the boards, I can build a shelf as well that can slide in, slide out, or even the materials can slide in, slide out. And I have about 20 inches in between. So I can go up to material about 20 inch, three quarter inch thick, or just use it as a shelf and raise up any materials that I need that aren't as high as the block. And it's a nice blustery, cool day in Canada here. I decided to take my exhaust off of my table, which I've been meaning to do for quite some time. And eventually I'm going to build a box that the exhaust will be attached to so I can raise and lower a box. And that will take any excess smoke out right away. So let's get our glass block ready. And I pre-cleaned pre the gloss black with rubbing alcohol and a piece of paper towel. Um, it was washed with soap and water. And these are refurbished blocks, so I didn't even go buy the expensive new blocks. And uh, I'm just using acrylic black paint. And I'm using a foam brush in order to spread it. And I don't want it too thin and I don't want it too streaky. So I will add some more black acrylic paint. I'll turn my glass block around and I will go the other way with it. And you're just going to spread that paint out very gently because like I said, you don't want any uh, blank spots and you don't want it too streaky. There, I've got it all nicely covered. And then I will gently go back with my foam brush just to eliminate any streaks and make sure I've got that glass totally covered. And there it is. I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours. And it dries quite smooth and quite flat. So there you go, my machine. Because your 5 millimeter uh, rod there needs to clear anything that you're engraving. And I've got my new 10A laser attached, but I'm going to be going over settings that you can use for your 5.5 watt laser as well. So the nice thing about the 10 watt laser is it's got this little slide down feature for my focusing. And I've used my Z height adjuster, but I've also used the sliding tool as well. So it will go lower when I'm using thinner materials. So I've doubled that up in order for my laser to uh, be as high as I want or as low as I want. Now, I brought my machine home because I'm hoping my laser does not power on when I turn the machine on. And it didn't. So we're going to open the file that I created, which was a PNG file. We're going to take it to line to line tracing. I have smooth on and just black and white. I'm going to go horizontal with this one. And I'm going to go six lines per minute. And I'm going to click on next. Okay, so here we go. My engraving speed, I'm going to start out with 2000 and I'm going to go with 70% power with my 10A laser. And I'm going to auto size that because I have designed it the size that I want and I'm going to click on create. Now I have my slider tools here and you'll see I've just set them to their default settings. And as I'm testing this glass block out uh, about a quarter of the way up, I slide it to 1.12 
And if you go 1.12 times 0 0.70, per, which is your percentage, you'll get what your powers are, are actually. Um, so a quarter of the way up the block, I went to 1.12, which equals 78%. Um, three quarters of the way of the block, I went to 1.2, which was 85%. And then the very top line where it says a Christmas in heaven, I upped the speed two times to 4,000 speed and uh, 1.4 power, which equals 98% power. Now, after uh, doing a lot of researching on which settings to use, these were um, the 5.5 watt settings were at half speed of what I was running and about the same power. So with the 10A laser, I'm able to run double the speed as long as you have the machine um, fastened down. So I'm excited that I finally have my machine secured, which will allow me to do the faster speeds. So I actually turned my power bar off in order to power my machine off because I'm still having issues with the 10A laser coming on when I hit the reset button. And here it is all completed. And I'm just gonna go wash that off with just some warm water in my hand. So I've washed the block off and really, even though my settings, I changed a quarter of the way up, a half way up, and uh, the very last Christmas in heaven was the 4,000 speed at 98%. I can't see any difference. I've held it up to the sun and stuff like that. Now, it's very difficult for you to see. But like I said, with the acrylic paint, I just used water. I didn't use a hot water or anything because I didn't want the block to uh, crack right away. But it just washed off with my hand rubbing it and just warm, lukewarm water. So here I'm just showing you the uh, fairy light Christmas lights that I usually add to my Christmas blocks. Usually just pull out a tab in order to get them to work. Um, the nice part of these are they are screwed shut because of the button cell batteries. I'm not sure if you've uh, seen it on the news, but there are a lot of children that have inadvertently eaten the button cell batteries and they're quite toxic to them. So uh, if you're playing with any button cell battery items, uh, definitely, and you're going to sell them to customers, make sure they are screwed shut and let your customers know to make sure to dispose of those batteries right away. And I'm fighting with it there, but there we go. It lit up. And of course, with engravings, um, with it being clear glass, it doesn't show up a lot. Um, I do have darker glass blocks that I'm going to try to see if they will engrave silver. And I'm just showing you if I had put a colored backing on the block, it really will make that pop. And like you see, there's no difference between a quarter of the way up, half the way up, and the Christmas in Heaven writing before. So yeah, from now on, I'll be engraving them at 4,000 speed at, well, probably uh, about 85% power because I do not like to run my laser at 100%. Uh, you'll burn out your laser faster that way. And just showing you, this is not the block because the block that I used for testing had a crack in it. So I wasn't going to spend any time blinging it up. But this is how I bling up my Christmas blocks when they're all completed. And this was just done in vinyl. And that's it for today. So I hope it helps, inspires you. You do not need the biggest and baddest things when you're starting out laser engraving. Use what you've got. Now go create!